See, if I was walking into the background, you would know that I was AI driven. But no, I'm I'm human. See, we're cut out and put in front of that background. Then how would I have done a 360? If that was AI, there'd be too many fingers. Look, five fingers per hand. I was interested to see that CNN put out an article about an AI driven movie. Now, I feel like all this stuff's kind of gimmicky. But I do see a future where AI driven content creates custom movies or crowd participation helps decide the direction of the movie. What I've seen online so far, probably more than two years ago or at least like a year ago, I remember AI writing really kind of pathetic, funny, uh, like early GPT style scripts. Two Face flips Alfred like a coin. Alfred lands heads up, which means Two Face goes home. It is just you and I. The Joker, Bat versus Cloud, moral enemies. I am such a freak. Society is bad. You drink water. I drink anarchy. Batman looks around for his parents, but they are still dead. The actors would sometimes read them exactly as the computer spit them out and they would almost make no sense but then sometimes they would have like amazing plot twists at the end because somehow the computer would sort of like tie it together or they were so abstract that they almost became like fascinating to watch because your brain would fill in all of the missing details i'm not gonna do something it's not a dream but i've got a time to stay there well i still think you could be back on the table it's a damn thing scared to say. So I have enjoyed some scripts that were written by machines and then humans have taken some serious time to act them out and read them verbatim. Nothing is going to be a thing, but I'm the one who got on this rock with a child and then I left the other two. It's actually a great source of comedy, and I guess I'm surprised that a couple more YouTube channels or um, social media accounts haven't really like broken into the mainstream doing that. Still feels like it's a little bit niche, but it also is so interesting. So um, this one t seems salt seems to take a bit more of a serious tone. Like it really, I think, wants to engage people into a, a, a real story. The movie is called Salt. It resembles many science fiction films from the 70s and early 80s, complete with 35 millimeter footage of space freighters and moon alien landscapes. And while it looks like a throwback, the way it was created points to what could be the new frontier for making movies. This AI driven, you know, movie quote is uh, the brainchild of Fabian Stelzer. Now he's not a filmmaker, but for the last few months, he's been largely relying on artificial intelligent tools to create a series of short films, which he releases roughly every few weeks on Twitter. Salt. E7, you copy? You gotta see this. This has got to be the largest amount of salt I've ever seen. E7, are you there? Don't tell me there is a problem with the equipment. Uh, I don't know, man. Something seems to be growing on it. You, you tell me what this is. We have to get out of here. We can't just leave them. You know exactly what is going to happen. That doesn't make it right. Guys, I'm talking about the, the first cave in. Uh, there's growth everywhere. It's everywhere. Uh, oh my, oh, oh my god. Hmm, mysterious, a planet of salt. I like that, oh, I like the bells, the sound effects were added. That's what space future humans look like on salt planets. You gotcha, so this is some sort of space mining company. Oh my gosh, you just put a straight human in the cave? Send a robot if you have if you have spaceships like that. But yeah, okay, I'm, I'm engaged. I'm seeing that they're putting together two different images, um, but then, you know, putting them on a timeline, something like Final Cut, and then throwing some interesting transitions between them, maybe a few effects, just to give a little bit of the depth, kind of like we were doing with CapCut to create a little bit of motion. And um, it, it works well enough, I think, for right now. For the tools that are available, I think that's pretty much the best you could do. Um, for him to throw the prompts at the bottom and make sure that there is a, uh, you know, basically titles and a dialogue to follow, and a bit of eerie music, which could have also been AI generated, not sure, probably was, just to make everything fit together. So yeah, you get you know GPT-3 to generate some content, you get some Twitter polls going from what's generated to see which direction the audience wants to go. 
Um, you add something like mid journey into the mix to generate the prompts and you find your own style, create that 1970s thing, throw some animations between the images in there. And then of course, text to videos like right around the corner. So the story can continue as the technology comes out and you know, you've got something really cool, really interesting, something fun to sort of prototype before, um, it becomes super, super mainstream, but it's so, so cool to see how far he's taken it already. Praetor nearing Kaplan 3, please respond. Praetor, this is an urgent message. Praetor, reverse course immediately. There is a level 5 anomaly in the salt mines of Kaplan 3. Don't enter its orbit. subsystems. 1. Trunk line circuits. 2. Salt registers. 3. Outer hull stellarator fins. You gotta be kidding me. That's what level 5 anomalies are like? That's cool. So I'm wondering if he held the... Or, or did he just throw on an effect? So maybe that's just an image and then he just like turned down the saturation and Nothing like being out of power with a stage five anomaly on a whole nother planet. Oh God. Story continues June 16th. So now he comes up with a poll. As your eyes adapt to the dark, you consider your options. So 61 people voted on this. There's the final result. So examine the salt register should be the next part of the story. So let's uh, watch it. Previously on salt. Serious systems error encountered. Unable to diagnose. You gotta be kidding me. Fuck. All right. Let's let's fix this ship. I'm gonna have to get to the salt registers. They should be right behind this vent shaft. Let's do this. gotta do uh, is reboot the salt registers. Uh, holy fuck. That's weird. That, that can't be what it looks like. Okay, let's, let's just try and reboot the thing. Wow. That is definitely not normal. Oh, whoa. Okay. Okay. Computer? Computer, are you here? Warning. Temporal anomaly detected. Oh. Is that... Oh no, is that me? There's now, so I think that was done with something like 3D Photo on CapCut. That's where he's getting that um, sort of sliding animation from. Probably AI generated mysterious music would be my guess behind it. I like the flicker effect. I bet that was done with Final Cut or something, some kind of post. Oh, is that maybe one image with a transparent circle coming into another or yeah, that must be, that's cool. So that's a nice way to actually add two different images and create some depth. Okay, cool. I liked episode three. That was very mysterious. Nice effect there at the end. Okay, so I won't go through all of these, but you can see the first few episodes gives us a sense for how this story is coming along. It seems like they've kind of also um, added different layers to the story that aren't in full video form. So if you look through the thread, like on August 15th, you'll see just simple text updates with like blueprints. And um, this image, this image on August 15th was really cool. So I was born on earth, but we moved around a lot for dad's work. We'll never forget seeing the shrooms for the first time. Umami sure looked out the window for its own, but look at that image generated with Midjourney. I would love to see the prompt on that. I wonder if they, does he give you the, is that the, 
I wonder if that that piece of text is the actual prompt, but to see those mushroom buildings out that window, very surreal, awesome image, definitely brings me into the story. It makes me feel almost like an alien attack, but I guess this is a planet he lives on where gigantic building sized mushrooms have started to, to grow. It's a it's a mixture. I think he's sometimes using GPT-3, sometimes add, adding his own prompts, but he's trying to use AI everywhere kind of he can. Pretty exciting stuff. What is this? Technically, you've done exactly as told. You've shipped the damn containers and while not 100% by the book, getting a sample of that stuff to a better equipped lab was the least you could do without getting fired. Okay, let's just let's just see this video. Okay, so just to pause for a second, what's going on with this face? Like, are am I looking at like a woman who took a video on an iPhone and then he put it in there and blurred it up? Or did he take something like reface and make an image blink? Slightly unsure, but the fact that the face is only moving like a few degrees makes me think maybe it really is AI. It doesn't seem like it has quite enough depth because I've seen flat photos using AI do things kind of like that blink even open the mouth it'll add the tongue and the teeth so also uh, after talking to Akil um, you know another thing that makes me think that it really is something like reface is the blurry up at the top of the head is w when you take a photo and you move the face around you usually see that distortion around the edge so potentially that blurriness to try to create a depth of field is actually masking how the background is kind of getting warped and there's also a pretty flat background back there it's not a super like interesting background otherwise you'd notice that kind of stuff see and, and if you guys are wondering if i'm an ai you can tell because see how the background doesn't warp around or how i can like walk into the background see if i was walking into the background you would know that i was ai driven but no i'm i'm human I see we're cut out and put in front of that background then how would i have done a 360. <laughs> <laughs> how would i have done a full 360 you know and then I put my, and how would I have done this? If that was AI, there'd be too many fingers. Look, five fingers per hand. You wouldn't have perfect fingers like that. There you go. So don't doubt. <laughs> don't doubt everybody. Um, anyway, so I'll let you guys uh, follow the rest of this thread if you want. It's just fun. I would love to, you know, be part of something like this in the future. I love that he's sort of pioneering this and creating something engaging. And yeah, that's all I want to cover for today's news. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for, thanks for hanging out with me.